And one more thing. While I was gone, GTA 6 leaked. Ain't <laughs> wow. I spoke that into existence like two days before. But I didn't return then because I felt like I would have been a sham for just popping up when GTA 6 returned without addressing to you guys first what's been going on. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Potato or Zach Cox TV. And it's an honor to be here. Uh, it's been a year and one month since I've uploaded a video. The longest I think I ever went before was maybe like two months, three. I'm 25 years old and I started this YouTube channel when I was 13. I was a kid who come home from school and my home life, I, I just wasn't aware of a lot of things back then that in the last two, three years I've become aware of in my whole life. It's like I lost my sense of self and my identity. Behind me, the setup, this is my setup from back in the day. I set it up. So I still had some of the pieces to that puzzle and it's just truly an honor to be here. I never meant to leave. I didn't want to and I don't know how to come back now. I've got hundreds if not a thousand ideas that I never released back in the day or in the past year. I grew up on YouTube. This was my life. It was my identity. Zach Cox, the YouTuber, that, that's who I was. I didn't know anything in my life outside of that. My family isn't close. It's just me. I thought life was money and materialism. I was in a very toxic relationship for a few years in this absence as well. And I've been out for almost a year and I'm finally getting my sense of self back and finally waking up feeling happy. I'd wake up and I describe it. It's like being on an operating table with your chest ripped open and you can't feel anything, but you feel everything simultaneously and you can't move because you're strapped down. I was truly powerless and hopeless. Again, I never meant to leave and I don't feel guilt, but sometimes I feel tremendous guilt because of all the nice things that y'all said to me in my absence, whether it be on Instagram or Twitter or in the YouTube comments telling me how much you miss me. And I feel guilt because I couldn't feel that connection and I can't. Y'all see me, but to me, Y'all are numbers on a screen, and I let those numbers dictate my life. One bad video, man, I'm a horrible person. That's how I truly felt, and, and I would go into panic attacks. I'd freak out. I grew up on this, on this site, on this channel, and it's a blessing. But with that, there were so many things and areas in life that I didn't develop that I have through the traumatic experiences and the lows that I allowed myself to go through unknowingly. And it's all come full circle and I feel like I know who I am and I'm, I'm finding out more and more who I am as I grow and I think that's a beautiful part of the cycle of life and I think that it never ends. That's what I'm figuring out. It's like only the beginning. And it feels good to say that because my outlook was so bleak for so long. Again, so many ideas I want to share with y'all. I just don't know how. I hope that y'all can accept me back onto the platform and, and if you choose to watch some of my content that I choose to release uh, in the future. But... I, I'm sure it showed in my content for those of you who've been around for a while, years now, years, literal years, almost 49% of my life was literally spent on YouTube from 13 to, to now. In just about a week and a half, it'll be 12 years of being on YouTube. And, and again, it doesn't even feel real, the past. It's like, do I just jump back into this? Pick up where I left off or, or where do I start? I don't know. But I've been wanting to speak to y'all for so long. I truly have. I just haven't known the words and I still don't. So I'm not sure how this video will come out. But I just hope that it's enough for y'all to know that for one, I'm okay. And I thank y'all so, so much for, for again, reaching out. The love, it was truly felt. My outlook was so bleak for so long, y'all. Everything was gray, black and white. The color was sucked out of my life. And I didn't even want to feel that way. But what saved me is God, my connection and relationship with God that I didn't have. Because when you're truly feeling like the only person in the world, that'll save you. And it saved me and I'm proof of that. And, and there's so many things I'd love to talk about. I mean, it was, it was bad. But in hindsight now, that pain is some of the most beautiful moments and memories that I ever have because it was going to make me a great father one day, a great husband, and, and for now a friend and a leader. And again, I thank every single one of you for the overwhelming outpouring of love and support when I didn't know how to feel. And as I try now through 
as a good friend would say, purposeful intention. Even when it's hard and you don't feel it, you still try. That's what I'm doing. And I truly do want to return. The one goal I've never made or reached or achieved is a million subscribers. I know it's possible. I want to get a gold play button. And I feel like if y'all accept me back that, well, the next, I think it would be about 280,000 subscribers. That's going to be the hardest. <laughs> because it's the 720,000 that got me thus far. I feel like we're starting over again, even if we're not. And I feel like the future is, is bright. And I thank every single one of you. Again, I could go into detail about everything and where I've been. But we'll do that in due time. Trust me. I thank y'all so much. So, so much for allowing me to be here all these years. For helping me develop into the man that I am today. Even in my absence. Y'all got me this far. And I thank you so much. Every single one of you. Even just talking here gets rid of those guilt feelings that come with, with not being able to form a connection to y'all by talking to a computer screen, but y'all being able to feel a connection with me. Whether it be young people who've reached out saying that I was your light at the end of the tunnel when you were going through things by just my voice and me doing what was taking away the pain also did and took away maybe your pain if you were going through things or related to some of the things that I said and the words resonated with you. I don't know how to thank y'all enough. And and again, all I can do is just say thank you and sound like a broken record, but it's an honor to be here. And I thank y'all for the platform that you've given me. I used to cry. I didn't want to quit, but I truly thought that this was it. And maybe the good Lord just took the, the, this away from me for a while so that I could grow as a person and come back and do even greater things. All I know is, again... I love every single one of you, and I thank you so much. This is Zach Cox. The future's looking bright, and it's glad, I'm glad to be back. I may not upload every single day or consistently, or maybe I will. I don't know. I've tried to think that far, and the more that I do that, the more I just lose myself again. So maybe it should just be like the old days. Come up with some cool video ideas and just upload them to the Internet. Matter of fact, I got so many of them. I mean, literal, just just books, books. <laughs> That's a blank page. I look like a liar. But just books of them in, in, in this drawer here. They go back years. Things that, that used to excite me, and I look forward to it. So let's see what the future holds, y'all. Thank you so much. Let's hit a million subscribers. I love you all. Glory be to God, and God bless you.